started when I was, I was trying to simplify my work and I was trying to find imagery that was commonplace and came from everyday life that wasn't necessarily an art subject. And so I, I just had rope laying around and I was looking at it and enjoying the compositions that it makes and the flexibility of the line. And then through that discovery process, for me it just led to a lot of metaphorical meaning and connotation. My name is Monica Reedy, and I'm a mixed media artist. Currently, I'm using plexiglass panels that I etch and draw on and then layer. So there's a translucency to the images, and you can see one layer underneath the next layer. Once I have the composition all mapped out, I take uh, those drawings and transfer those in onto plexiglass and etch the rope images into them. I'm using a dry point tool. The reason that I like this technique is that it gives me this really fine quality of line and it creates this nice textural feel on the surface of the plexiglass. I just love the sensual quality of it. Another aspect of the process that appeals to me is the labor that's involved. While I get really frustrated that it takes so long to complete the work, I think there's something inherent in that process of the repetitive motion and the spending time with the work that comes through in the final product that wouldn't be there if it was a quicker process. is mostly recognized by the unusual use of materials. I tend to use materials that are not typical artist materials, aluminum flashing, chalkboard, um, beeswax, versus the techniques that I use are quite traditional. So I will combine traditional realistic drawing with an unusual kind of industrial material. The material aspect is as important to me as the imagery. There's always been a three-dimensional quality to my work, and I'm interested in the objects that's being created, not just the image and the illusion that's being created. So sometimes I'm thinking like a sculptor, and sometimes I'm thinking like a painter. The plexiglass, in some ways it's a very forgiving material, but in other ways it's very unforgiving. So once I etch into it, it's, you know, I can't erase it. But, you know, if I'm painting on it or if I'm drawing on it, it gives me a lot of flexibility. So I will put this dark down and then I'll lighten it up um, with another layer. And the more pigment I put down, the more opaque the rope um, becomes in the final composition and the more of a shadow it casts on the lower levels. So it creates another dimension to the work and enhances that three-dimensional quality. I've always been interested in both layering imagery and combining different visual planes. And I think it's an attempt to in some way convey the complexity of life in that what's on the surface isn't necessarily the whole story. And even though I'm not literally trying to explain that in each individual piece, I think that the layering acts as its own metaphor. I'm adding a lighter pigment with a colored pencil. In some work, I actually draw another shadow on there, so it creates an illusion of a shadow. 
So that there's this interplay between what's real and what's not real. It plays with the way that we perceive. Okay, once I'm done applying the pigment, then I bring it back over here and see how it looks all together with all the other layers. I like that element that I could present an image to the viewer that didn't have an inherent meaning, but was open to multiple interpretations so that each viewer could bring their own interpretation to that. My job is to create something that's interesting enough to look at so that the viewer will bring his or her own experience to the work and, and create a personal meaning out of it rather than something that I convey. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. <laughs>